Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and we are having a glorious snow day in Maine, and I couldn't be more excited about it because that me meant I didn't have to go to work today and that I could craft, and <laughs> I'm, you know, all about that. So I have been making a lot of things, and I did do a little a, a short and a little reel, and, and I shared some pictures of the stick pins that I created using... Um, Angel Dream Craft Stick Pin Kit. The kit is so flippin' adorable. So I thought I would show them to you first before I show you the other things that I created just because I'm so excited about how they turned out and who doesn't love a beautiful stick pin? So I created this using the bits in her kit and she gives you this really beautifully long stick pins in the kit and then I put one of her uh, rhinestone uh, bow dangles off of this one and I just think that is adorable and then uh, she has the bits to make the angels in the kit too and these are just so fabulous I love them and then oh, this little this looks like an ice cream cone to me and I think it is so stinking cute so you get these uh, long a couple of long cones I got this beautiful bead in in the kit um, I put one of her uh, uh, bow enamel charms on this one and then this cute little bow is also in the stick pin kit aren't they adorable I love it on this one I put one of her uh, pink uh, rhinestone heart charms dangling off the side and this cutie was in the kit also I mean, it made a lot of beautiful stick pins. Uh, this is actually a charm from my stash, but the rest of this came from Kim's kit. So, so cute. So I just wanted to take a minute just to show you. This is another one of her charms. And then look at all these cute bits. These stick pin kit was so much fun to play with. So thank you, Kim. I enjoyed it so much. But what I wanted to share with you is what I actually made today. I was inspired by two people. I was inspired, well, and plus I was inspired by uh, Kim's laces <laughs> and goodies. But my friend, uh, Paper Play with Julie K, she has been doing over on her channel the Little Bits of Lace 2004 hashtag. And for one of those videos, she made the lace and ribbon crimp embellishments, which I just thought were adorable. And I had so many of these um, crimps in my stash that I was like, okay, I feel like I have to try that. So thank you for the inspiration. It's, it's these little things right here. I have them in all kinds of different sizes because uh, when I make my shabby chic cuffs, I like to use these. So I that's why I have so many. But I loved the idea of just making these little ribbon crimp, uh, lace crimp embellishments. So I made this one using beautiful stuff from Kim's shop. There's a long lace in the back, some cheesecloth. This really pretty uh, dangle, it's one of my favorites from Kim's store. It's just a really, really, really pretty color. Then there is uh, this lace that I cut into individual roses. Then I put a little snippet on uh, a gold bulb pin and then I just put a piece of bling on the top so I just think these are so cute so I did make a couple of those because I was just inspired and so oh, they're sticking together here is this one using beautiful laces from Kim's shop and some rhinestone cup chain and this is part of an applique that I've been cutting on um, that has just really pretty sparkle on it I love it. And then I put a piece of bling right there on the bulb pin. Isn't it cute? And then I made a shorter one. Um, not pretty. This is another piece of that sparkly applique that I've just been cutting to bits today and enjoying every minute of it. And I put one of her ribbon sliders up at the top. So these are so cute. And I will put a link to uh, Paper Play with Julie Kay's ribbon crimp embellishments because she does even do a whole tutorial which i think is very thoughtful but along those lines i have been obsessed lately with t myers handmade on youtube she upcycles all the things and i i am just inspired so really she made um like a little bag necklace thing 
Uh, so I kind of took that idea with uh, Julie's idea and I put them together and I made these necklaces and I just think they are so stinking cute. So I started with um, this eyelet lace as my base and I sewed everything. Um, it's actually sewn to the chain. I just sewed on either side so that so it's sewn on so cute and this is the chain I used for this one I have this in my stash forever and it's just so pretty so I layered up on this guy this beautiful oh, this beautiful embroidered lace from Kim shop that is pretty wide so it goes the whole entire length of this then that beautiful dangle that I showed you on the other one, I put that there. I just love that. And then I should have left the bits out to show you, but this is another <laughs> lace that I cut to fit on top. And all of, I made three of these and all of them have the same base. So it's all the eyelet trim, this lace, this dangle, then this on top. Uh, this lace is different on one of them though. So I put the cute little bow lace there and then I sewed down the cross on top. I used her white bridal trim right here. I cut this flower out. And then this is off of that uh, same applique that I have been choppity chopping all day that has this one on it. So those came from that applique. This is one of her dangles in the store and I just cut off the dangles and sewed them on. And I just think these are so acute. I'm excited about these. So there's that one that I created. And then this is the next one I did. This one is on a silver chain that already had these hanging on it. And I just left them on there because I thought it was cute. And then um, let me straighten it out. So uh, basically the same idea, the same layering. I just put a different... Um, I didn't use the bow trim on this. I put a different lace here. And then I sewed on uh, more bits from that applique that I've been chopping. So there's a big flower from that here and it goes down. And then I put another one that comes up here. Then I put this beautiful uh, bling I've had in my stash forever that has these uh, dangly rhinestones. I just think it's so cute. And then I did do the same thing on all of them because I just love the way it looks. I took this very long dangle and I cut them off individually and I sewed two on each side. And then I sewed on these cute little ribbon roses and a pearl in each one. So so cute right I love I love it so then I made a gold one because I had this beautiful gold chain look at this chain it's so pretty I had this beautiful gold chain and so all of these are they can slip right over your head um, so they are long and they are so cute so on this one I had this gold frame um, in my box of you know bits and I, I'm pretty sure it probably had a cameo in it at one point. But I pinned that on and then I sewed on this beautiful, this is one of my favorite pieces at Kim's shop. And I, I tend to hoard them, but I was like, it has to go here. So I sewed that on there and I absolutely love that dimensional flower. I think it's so cute. This is a vintage piece that I've had in my stash for a long time. I don't remember where I got it, but I love it. So I love the way it looked on the top. And then I sewed on some gold uh, rhinestone cup chain to give it some more gold accents and of course some more rhinestones. So I just, I'm loving these. I love, I'm loving these so much. And I'm telling you this um, T Myers Handmade has just got me wanting to make all the things. So make sure you check out my description box where I'll have a link to her channel and a link to Julie Kay's ribbon crimp um, tutorial and also a link to Kim's shop where you can get all of these goodies and make some for yourself. So please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye everybody.